Write it down or type it out. What's really the best way for manifesting what you want? We're going to find out today. Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as the guy who wrote the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. And today I've got one of those videos that answers a question that keeps getting asked in so many different ways by so many different people. And I don't just mean emails to me, I mean in general. I mean the fact that I see different YouTube videos that are saying different things, that are saying one thing versus another, going in one direction versus another. And what I wanna do is finally clear this up, finally get you the clarity that you need so that you can make the right decision for you and again, get that much closer to attracting and manifesting those things that you want. So let's answer once and for all, what is better, writing something down in order to manifest it or typing it out? And when I say typing, you know, that can mean a number of things. That can mean typing on a keyboard, on your actual laptop or your desktop. That can mean typing on your phone or other device. So there's different ways of even typing and it goes even deeper than most people think. But the question is always there. What's the way that's gonna be the most powerful, the most effective, the most advantageous, the most momentum that's gonna get you what you want? Well, let's first look at writing because that is often cited as the best way for one specific reason. And that's that when you are writing, you're actually in a physical act where you're moving your hand around while you're looking at a piece of paper. And supposedly what that's doing for you is it's firing all these extra neurons and putting all this extra energy and all this extra focus and this stronger vibrational signal out to the universe to pull back what you want in. And technically that's actually right. You know, as I understand it from my research, when you are writing things down, you are firing more neurons, but that's not to say that you're not firing neurons when you're typing, because again, you're still using your hands, you're still seeing the words come out on the screen or on your device or whatever it might be. So that only goes so far in terms of a strong argument as to why writing is better than typing. But you know what? I'm not even gonna make you wait one more second for the right answer because the question of which is better, typing or writing it down, it doesn't matter. Matter. That's right. It doesn't matter from the standpoint of actually typing or writing because that hasn't answered the really important question here of what you should always be focused on, what you should always be worried about when you are engaging in any of these manifestation methods, whether they are scripting or something that doesn't even involve writing or typing at all. And that question is, does it feel good? Or more importantly, which one feels better? Which to you feels better, whether it's writing something down or typing it out? Which to you is easier? Which to you elicits more images and more energy and it's just easier for you to really think about and visualize what you have and you can almost feel it in the palm of your hands. Which one gives you more of that feeling? Which one is easier for you to do? Which one can you do for a longer period of time? Because that whole thing about writing, like me personally, while I recognize that writing something out really does have a power to it, me personally, I usually don't enjoy writing because in most cases, my hand ends up cramping sooner rather than later simply because I don't write very often. I'm not used to it. My hand's not used to it. And therefore, in most cases, unless I'm feeling really inspired or really excited, if I start writing something down, it's not long before my hand cramps up and therefore I don't feel good about the process anymore. The last thing I wanna do if my hand starts cramping up or if I'm not enjoying the process for any other reason, the last thing I wanna do is continue it. The last thing I wanna do is keep going when I don't feel good because when you're engaging in any process when you're not feeling good, you are injecting the lack of what you want instead of what you actually want, which is the opposite of what you actually wanna do, right? So for me personally, I like typing better because for me, it feels easier, I'm more used to it, my hand doesn't cramp up, but I'll actually do you one better. I like a version that's even better than both writing or typing, and that's speaking. Because that's one thing that a lot of people don't tell you. That's one thing that a lot of people don't think about. You don't have to write or type something out in order to script what you want and bring it into manifestation or bring it into being. For a chatterbox like me who just can't seem to stop talking, for me, speaking it is way better. And what I simply do is I pull out my phone every single day, I hit the recorder back button, and I just speak all the things I'm grateful for. And I could very easily do another actual visualization process. But for me, I actually prefer just saying the things I'm currently grateful for. And I sneak in future things in the present tense to make it feel more visceral to me. And then I take that message and I send it across the country to a friend of mine who does the same thing and sends it back to me. And that's our daily routine. That's how we stay on point. That's how we stay grateful. And that's how we engage in our version of scripting, 
our version of writing and typing it out because when we began this process close to four years ago with each other, it was a thing where we first started to type it and started to write it down. We would send images of the list that we wrote down or we would just text it to each other and neither of those things were fun for us. Neither of those things were enjoyable enough for us to keep the habit going. So we had a quick discussion over the phone and we said, okay, what can we do about this? How can we maintain this? It's like, well, we both like to talk why don't we try that and see what happens? And three and a half years later, we are still doing this every single day. Now, what does that mean for you? Well, it means answer the question for yourself. What do you enjoy more? Do you enjoy writing it? Do you enjoy typing it? Do you enjoy speaking it? Do you not know? Maybe you just want to experiment. Try each of them out. Try each version out and see how it feels. Give yourself the opportunity to write something for 10 minutes and just see how that feels. Is it enjoyable for you? Is it a more vibrant experience? Try typing if you're used to doing that. Try typing on your device if you're used to doing that. Or again, try speaking it out. Do different ways. Experiment day after day after day after day. And you know, P.S. As you are experimenting, that basically means you are doing a method every single day for just a few minutes a day. So you are building up momentum even before you found the version that you prefer. That's the beauty of this. Just doing five minutes every single day, you've already won, even if that's not the method that you wanna stick with. So quick recap once and for all, what's better, writing it down or typing it out? The answer is whatever feels better for you, that's the way you wanna go because that's where the power is, that's where the momentum is, and that's where you really send that potent vibrational signal out to the universe and invite it back that much more powerfully. So now I wanna hear from you. Let me know what is your preferred method in terms of scripting something out. Do you like writing it down? Do you like typing it out? Do you like speaking it and why? Comment below, let me know, let everyone else know. Give people maybe an example of how you do this, what you do. You might just inspire somebody else who's really looking for a reason for them to try something out for themselves and to manifest what they want. And extra little bonus, extra little motivation to get you to keep doing this. Any comment that you put down will automatically get you entered into this month's contest where one lucky winner will win lifetime access to Gravity of the Cosmos, my 90 day advanced level full immersion guided program for manifesting your every desire through the law of attraction. This is my top tier one of a kind program where I'm gonna walk you through 90 consecutive days of manifestation methods where all you have to do is open up the email I send, watch the video and follow along. I literally do all the heavy lifting for you, but you get the benefit. And again, all you have to do to be entered into this month's contest to hopefully win that is comment below. That's all you gotta do. And if you don't wanna wait until next month to see if you've won and you wanna give Gravity of the Cosmos a tryout right now, well, my book, the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read actually has a link to some bonuses, one of which is access to the first few days of Gravity of the Cosmos free of charge so that you can try it before you buy it. You can get a feel for it right now. You can get a complete understanding of what this program is all about and you can get a few days of momentum just by testing it out. And you can get access to my book, of course, the Amazon listing by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com. And while we're on the topic, obviously I just wanna give a quick little bit of props and appreciation to a reader who recently left feedback on the book on Amazon. So today's spotlight review is actually left by a mystery Amazon customer. Their name doesn't appear, but this was left on March 23rd, 2021, a five-star rave review that reads, whether you are a new or seasoned person to Law of Attraction, this book is amazing. I laughed and cried, happy tears of course, throughout this book. This book helped me manifest my car, my job as a dancer at the Safari Zoo, and so much more. This is seriously the last book I will ever need to read about the Law of Attraction. Thank you, Andrew Cap, for writing this book and reminding me that I am worthy and have always been worthy. Also, that I am a powerful being and I deserve everything that I desire. Wow, I, whoever you are, I read that feedback and I only had one reaction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All I can say is I really appreciate you leaving that feedback, but more importantly, I appreciate you just using the content using the methods and you are right. You are worthy of everything that you desire. Thank you for sharing that and reminding everybody else about that as well. I truly appreciate you. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me, but don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and give this video a like, maybe share it out, let other people know if you really enjoyed this. And of course, comment below, get yourself entered into this month's contest for Gravity of the Cosmos and stay tuned. I will be back soon with another awesome video. I'll see you then.